I seen uh so Bibby Dad actually did an interview. You did you see any of it? Yeah, I saw a little bit of a little bit of it, yeah. Yeah, how did you feel when uh cause Bibby Dad said like he really didn't know you and he didn't uh like he was kinda like shocked to see how that Bibby was living like this kind of like a double lifestyle. Like, he didn't see any of that coming from Bibby. Like, when he just seen Bibby around family and friends, he thought everything was cool. You gotta, to know Bibby is to love Bibby. Bibby quiet, real sneaky. You know? Like, he don't talk like that. He just smile. He just smile and just chill. He ain't no, he ain't no talking like that. But I feel like that was most kids, though, and parents just know, like, motherfuckers, not even with Bibby situation. Like, most parents don't know what they just doing. Then when somebody get killed, oh, my baby, well, he was innocent, he was doing Thank that, but it's a whole other shit going on you don't know nobody. You know what I'm saying? That's how it be sometimes. Did you actually know Bibby's father? Or he was like... I didn't, like, I didn't, that's what I'm saying, like, summer 2018, Bibby was living with me and my grandma. Like, you know, like, I don't, like, I, I didn't, I know his mom. I know, like, his mom, but I don't really know his dad like that, but around that time, like, Bibby had, Bibby, I think, Bibby people's house had burnt down. And they burnt down, he was like, you know, like, I can see, like, We'll be out late night. It's like one, two o'clock, and everybody like, oh, we finna hit it in. Oh, I'm finna go to my girl or some shit like that. And he'll be like, all right. And I, I peep him, like, he'll just fall back. And I'll be like, damn, bitch, where you going at? Like, I don't really got nowhere, you know? Come with me. Now it's every day. We sleeping in the same bed. And he, like, it'd be deeper than that. Like, when you lose somebody like that, because me and him argue about shit. Nigga, you, you pin on the toilet shit, and then you drunk my last Capri Sun. That shit. Like, <laughs> I'm my oh, real God. best friend. Yeah. Like, so, I said, I had to be, I had to adapt to a whole new world. I came home, all my, he did. I'm like, damn, everybody be, like, like I said, I know him. That's a real genuine, real person. That's why I said, that's another part of the reason why I want to rap, just to solidify his name. Like, I'll talk that talk. He died at 16. He was a problem. I know that. Like, so I have a question related to that. If you, if something were to happen to you, would you want your parents to go do interviews? Interviews? Yeah. It's kind of the new wave. There's a bunch of God forbid, though, bunch of parents doing it. God forbid, but how my mom agree or my people agree? That's how they grieve. I can't. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what they want to go do to express it. So do you? You know what I'm saying? Tell your son's story. Tell your family story. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's what that's what I'm pushing. Like <clears throat> I'm pushing eight BM, eight Bibby Mitch. I'm pushing my my guys. Everything I do for my homeboys, like my my brothers, because life is so precious. So try to push it. They ain't get most none of them. And he had kids, you know. That shit we gonna crazy. push it though. Like with this new, I done came home, bro. Here we finna push it. Like that's that's what we pushing. Like our homeboy gonna live the way. For sure. How, how did y'all feel when uh, Queso got charged for the murder of Vivi? That's the free, streets. free, free, bro. The one with jail on nobody. With jail on nobody. Shit, so, Cause we know how to. We know how the Jacksonville system lives, bro. Like they'll fuck you over. Like fuck you over, over. Queso had caught twelve years for a gun. Like. Fuck you over, wasn't even no felon for real. Like, mm -hmm. fuck you over, like they, like that shit fucked up down there, bro. Real shit. How'd they end up giving them twelve years? Just who we are. Like, really? Once you label as a gang member, but that I shit called gang in hand. So he's not even a felon, and they label him like a gang member, yeah. and that was enough to like amplify labeled, the charge. I've been labeled yeah. as a gang member since I was like thirteen in my city. They give you like they, they come around and give you a letter, send you a letter in the mail. I'm like you have been labeled as a registered Jacksonville gang member on the city says. Neighborhood gang, so they brought me that bitch when I was 13 years old, 14 years old. Just a kid playing in my neighborhood. Yeah. Like, they try to step that on you early. Like, that's Jacksonville. That shit real corrupt. So you and K-Shorty sure cool now. This the same K-Shorty sure that I was around you early on? That's my yeah. best friend. That's LeBro. That that bro. It would just, it'd just be misunderstanding shit. Shit that could have been talked about, but it was voices and man LeBro ill, so we ain't never get the, but it's straight now, though. Yeah. Shit, sure. So y'all patch it up while you was locked up. Okay, show them my bunkie. Yeah. Like, I wasn't trying to tell, like, I, I, when I was in jail, I used to be trying to tell, like, I talked to him and I talked to Shorty. I did that shit. That shit, we family. You feel me? Like, because, like, uh, yeah, for the people who yeah. don't know, there was some diss songs between you and K Shorty yeah. that came out. I don't know who did the first one, but I basically, K Shorty was saying that you wasn't doing enough. He said, I think he had a line where he was saying, like, uh, he said Fulio chilling or some shit like that, and then you responded and you did a song too. So yeah. then how was I able? Like I guess through Ro, you uh, yeah, like we talk. I'm t every day I'm talking to both of them because both of them probably as fuck. I'm telling y'all talk y'all, but even day they all gonna say they both will say I both can I can say this. They both gonna say, man, that's bro, bro. He know it. I, I still love him. I still like they still love him, but like I say, it's just 
situations, certain situations when you got. But all that shit nipped in the bud. And I like, when I was in jail, that was my silly. We talking every night. Yeah. About that shit. I ain't been with him since 2017. Like, shit, I went to the bar. I got sentenced. I got sentenced May 11. I got sentenced May 12th, May 11th. Me and K Short beat nigga ass with a broom. I went to the <laughs> box. I got sentenced from the box. You feel me? That's my that's my brother. Why'd you beat him with a broom? Cause nigga was trying to whip. One of somebody somebody who we you know, brought with came in the dorm. Dorm oh, predator. Oh god. So they put me on the, <laughs> oh, put the box. But yeah, so they charged K Shorty with uh he got twelve years for a gun, right? Gun charge. Gun, Pussy man. shit. And then they try to throw another case on him right now, currently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He locked up for him. Well, he yeah, he locked up for a murder, right? Mm-hmm. And they trying to say it was for spin of ends or something. Nah, hell, nah, it's not it's other shit. It's all, it's it's all shit. other shit. I know he ain't do it. Yeah, he ain't some shit. Ain't got nothing to do it. That's just how they play. You know what I'm saying? They sit you down. Crack. You gotta know the system. That's why I said that shit make you a man. You know the system. Like you learn their tricks. You can't lose. I know they. They just want us. Like, the mind is something terrible to waste. You feel like the cops are racist. Nah, not not that they're racist, cause you got you got. It's, I'm gonna say that with pride. The white police officers treated me better in jail than mo- the motherfucking black ones. I swear to God. Really? Hell yeah. It's not that they're racist. It's just once they know that you're intelligent, like me, like I'm not going for shit. Like in jail, police, enemies, whatever. I'm I'm not going for shit. I'm gonna talk my mind. I'm gonna say what I gotta say. So once they know like you got someone like me, they gonna be on you. And it's crazy. The same police I was saying, fuck, when I got shot the first time, same police saved my life. Oh, I'm finna get you to the ambulance, fool. Yo, know who I am. I'm laying on the ground, bleeding, hip popped out of place. And you recognized them? Hell yeah. It was gang ties. Like, they know us. Like, by first yeah, name yeah. basis, nickname basis, fool. They, yeah. they say, what's up, Cal? What's, what's up? up? Uh, what's up? What's up? Yeah, what y'all on today? I was leaving one of my little yeah. homeboy's funeral and got stopped. I'm like, Cal, boy, you're home, man. Happy to see you home. Like, they know us personally. Like, been fucking us in weird. You got it. That's what I'm saying. You got to think about it. I got shot when I was four, well, 15. These people still on my ass. I'm 25 now. You know what I'm saying? Same shit. They basically watched me grow up since yeah. I was a little boy. You know what I'm saying? That shit crazy. It be crazy like that. We watched their ass grow up. Oh, bro, that shit crazy. I done watched their ass go bald. Some of them got bald. <laughs> bro, here. like that shit crazy. Yeah, what's up, man? You got a chin here now? Oh, so you got bro. a bald here now? Yeah, going through a divorce, but we see it, boy. Damn, oh, you bro. stressing. But do you? It's got to be a fine line between some of them. You got to kind of feel like they want the best for you, yeah. and some of them you got to feel like they're just assholes. Oh, for like, shit, I, sure. I'm true. I ain't gonna care. Sure. I can I can say that. Like I know for a fact. I ain't gonna say his name, but it's a detective. I know. Like I mean, again, tell he he want to see me do like he want like even in jail. Like I be locked up, he'll see me. Like man, keep your head up. You gonna come home? Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep you know stick to what you know. You gonna you gonna get up out of this bitch. I ain't gonna say his name though. He real as fuck. Like, no, he know he ain't no gangster shit. He ain't nothing. Like, he ain't, we ain't talk about shit. He but he's just always gonna say that every time he see like sports. You feel me? Sports animals or some shit like that. But he at the end of day he gonna be like, he gonna come home, man. Yeah. Get up. You had to make sure and he you, white. you said that because nigga gonna say you talking to the detective. They gonna be like, what the fuck? You? Oh nah, nah, hell, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? So like, all right. So how y'all feel about all the uh, interrogation videos that been leaking? My interrogation, my interrogation video out there. My shit out there too. I seen man, your, you you and that singing Rod oh, Way, bro. Like man, look, bro, that's what we come. Like we would bread that. Like, my shit out though. We don't talk to them people. Like it just. So how y'all knew from like uh, uh like who taught y'all how to carry yourself like that in the interrogation room and shit? That's like, just how we. That's, that's the hood we from. Like, yeah, I, that's morals. Our dad is in you know shit. Saying? That's morals. Like, that shit. Not, uh, mm. you know what what they're not in there to help you at all. At all. They're not trying to help you. So, your dad told you that from an early age? Like, giving you advice in my case you got arrested? Was, my, dad, my dad was a strong. Like, if you're going to choose your role, like, my dad had been told me. I got on the streets when I was like 12, 12, 13. My dad told me straight up, you're going to be a child or you're going to be a man. If you choose the streets, you're going to be a man. I'm going to treat you like a man. You're going to be a child. I'm going to treat you like a child. Like, but you choose the streets. I'm gonna guide you the right way. I'm gonna, like, and I always knew like it's nothing with them. It's nothing like it's straight. I got. I want a lawyer. I'm just gonna talk to my lawyer. I have nothing to say to you at all. We don't got shit to talk about in here. You ain't, wait. You gonna charge me with it or you gonna let me go? You gonna but charge me with it? I want to see my lawyer. A lot of rappers have been going out bad though. I be saying that shit. 